So, I want to come on here and do this video real quick. So, I have this folding plastic table that we've had since 2020 because I bought it for the kids to do crafts on for game night. And it's been like this ever since. So, we did resin and stuff. So, there's resin and stain, ink stains and all that on it. And I couldn't find a video on how to clean it. And the one I did find it, he used a whole bunch of tools. But you really don't need all that. So, I'm going to show y'all what I did. So before I show y'all, keep in mind that um, I have two of these tables. So I have this one, which got stained, and then I have this one. This one's a little bigger, but they're the same. But this one, all I had to use was bleach, and um, this is the puff we're working on. But all I had to use was bleach, and this table came sparkling clean like it was brand new. We got these at the same time. But this one, I tried using bleach, acetone, and some other stuff, and nothing budged. So then I said, let me try this. So I tried this Zep, however you say that, floor stripper. And I let it sit on there. And then I used a little scrubber. And of course, you're going to need gloves. And it came. This is what I cleaned so far. The white parts are what I scrubbed. And the parts that you see like this, this is just resin. So all I have to do is use my little um, X-Acto knife and just pick that off. So I just want to show you all how I did it. So I'm just going to pour this on here. And let it sit for a while. And then I'll just come back and show y'all. So I'm going to let it sit for like 10 minutes. These are the pads I'm using. They're just these steel wood wool soap pads. So I do have on a mask because this can't be strong. Okay, so as y'all can see, this is what it looks like now. 
what y'all seeing on the table is resin. So I have to take my knife, little exacto knife, looks like this, and I have to chip those off. I'll show y'all, but look how much better it already looks. Just don't mind the resin on it. It looks so much better. So I want to show y'all what I'm going to be doing to get the resin off. You can even just use your heat gun to um, make this resin softer to get off. But this is all I'm going to be doing. I'm going to take my time because I don't want to scratch the table. So I'm not going to record it. But this is all I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to get my heat gun out to soften it up to make it even faster. But you want to be careful with your heat gun because this table is also plastic. I'm looking through the camera, so it's kind of hard to do, but this is all I'm going to be doing. It's getting this off. But I'll show you when I come back, because I can't really do it with the camera. But this, I'm just going to get this off. You don't want to press down too hard, because you'll scratch your table up. Just use a little tip of it and just scrape not too hard it's better if you use this part so you won't know you won't be scraping it so I forgot I got this um, wet can be wet dry uh, P3000 sandpaper so oh you can also use some acetone gonna take longer with the acetone just but you just let it sit and then you do it but with the sandpaper you can just take it across the surface and look it just scratch it right off you don't have to do it that hard but see now that's going I'll show you so focus on this part right here I have a smaller piece so focus on this part now see already gone so yeah I forgot about that this is peak 20 so it's just different brands in here. You want to be careful because you don't want to scratch your surface. You just want to get the um scratch the resin. So yeah, I forgot about that. And you want to have mat uh, goggles on just in case resin wants to pop up and hit you in the face. <laughs> okay, y'all, look at the difference. And I have not even wiped this down again. And I only had to use half of this to get that resin off of there. Look at this table. Looks brand spanking new and all I used was floor stripper soap wool pad and some TLC and it took me under two hours the only reason it took me that long is because of having to scrape the resin off but other than that brand new table and I haven't even wiped it off for the last time so I'm going to do one more cleaning not with the floor clean I'm going to use bleach this time and that'll be it this is what I'm going to give it one more cleaning with. The Tough Plus. You can get those from the Dollar Tree for $125. And you can get that from Walmart for $146, I think. So, yeah. That's how I got the table spotless clean with these two. But it didn't work for this table because this table was a little bit more work. Okay, y'all. This is it. This is the final look. Like, I love doing stuff like this. So, this... This was fun to me. I love cleaning. I love um, making stuff over and seeing my work. So, like, if you don't want to, you know, do this, this table right here only cost $56. And the one over there with the puzzle on it only cost $62. And the reason it costs more is because we couldn't find this one online, so we had to get a different one. But they're the same from the same person. But that one raises to standing height over there. So, yeah. But, yeah, this is the table. And like I said, it took me under two hours. And the only reason it took me under it took me that long is because of the resin. I even cleaned the sides. I don't um when I do something, I do it right because I will I will irk me. It will irk me to know that I didn't do it to the best of my ability. So I always do it all the way. But yeah, that is it. That is the table. Didn't have to buy a new one. And I just cleaned it because I was so embarrassed. You know how you get your tables out for an event 
even though you're using tablecloths to know that that table looked like that, even though we cleaned it. So I just, I said, nah, I'm going to have to figure it out. We're going to have to get a new one. And I figured it out. So that's it. Thank y'all for watching. And I hope y'all have a great day.